Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, on behalf of uh, South Asia Office of International Water Association, uh, I welcome you all. Uh, I'm Dr. Prasanna Zogdev. I handle South Asia operations. And with me, I have Mr. Jayanathan Karunanidhi, who handles India operations. Uh, welcome you all to uh, this panel discussion as a part of South Asia webinar series. And uh, the idea behind South Asia webinar series is basically uh, to promote a dialogue in South Asian countries, for example, Nepal, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Pakistan, India, and uh, to have to discuss the relevant challenges, to discuss the relevant problems, and try to come up with uh, effective and efficient solutions. And uh, to uh, begin today's discussion, uh, we have uh, Mr. Asim Mansuri, who is uh, Senior Program Lead at uh, SIVAS uh, from SEPT University. As speakers, we have Mr. Ritesh Bairagi, who is Chief Officer of Sindar Municipal Council. And uh, we have uh, Mr. Ashish from uh, Karad Municipal Council, who is the City Coordinator. Um, uh, one announcement, unfortunately, our co-moderator, uh, Ms. Arya, will not be able to join us due to some health issues. And uh, uh, basically, one housekeeping rule, please uh, keep your uh, devices on silent during the presentations or during the discussion. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, write them in the chat box and we'll cover the questions towards the end of the webinar. However, after the presentations of both the cities, if you have any quick questions, we'll give you five to ten minutes to uh, to address them and uh, then we can uh, uh, go ahead with uh, the webinar. So um, I think with that introduction, uh, I'll hand it over to uh, Mr. Asim Mansuri from uh, Sivas. Uh, over to you, Asim. Yeah, uh, thanks, uh, Dr. Prasanna, and thanks, Jaren, for organizing this important uh, webinar topic, which is very close to our heart as well, which talks about academia and government collaborations to attain scale and impact. I think it's very important to, in this present situation, that we see that a consultant gets engaged with the government and then moves on. But how this relationship between academia and city governments have taken place over the years is what is going to be discussed today and how both these entities work in partnership to attain the impact and the scale not only at city level but also at the state level from where the in, in the state of Maharashtra that we are going to talk about and how that is being recognized nationally as well. So uh, again I on behalf of CWAS and IWA I welcome you all to the webinar. Thank you all for joining. Today we will be uh, having two presentations. It's a case study of two cities. Uh, one is Sinnar Council, uh, which is in Maharashtra, and other is uh, Karad Municipal Council. They both have actually won a recent award at the IWA Kigali conference, where both were recognized for their wash and climate initiatives. And they have been one of the front runners in the state of Maharashtra to demonstrate these activities and then share these ideas at the country level as well. So both these presentations will be made today. And without further ado, uh, I would like to call upon the Chief Officer of Sinnar, uh, Mr. Ritesh Behragi. Just to introduce Mr. Ritesh, he is an IT engineer and has completed BE in Information Technology from Government College of Aurangabad in 2012. After that, he started to work in Nanded as a assistant municipal commissioner as an assistant commissioner from 2020. And after completion of three years at Nanded, he was positioned as the chief officer of Sindhar Municipal Council, which is a class B city. And because he has uh, he has been leading some of the great works that are going on, and Sindhar has now become a model city for not only citywide inclusive sanitation, but around the entire climate wash linkages as well. So we are happy to have you, uh, Ritesh ji, on this webinar. And we look forward to hearing from you about how the government academia collaborations have worked for you and what the city has been able to attain in this uh, years of journey. Over to you, Ritesh ji. Uh, good evening everyone uh, am i audible yes you are yeah thank you uh, good evening to everyone uh, my name is uh, ritesh varagi i am currently uh, 
uh, working as a chief officer in uh, Sindh Municipal Council. Uh, as a Sir, uh, 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 want to share something. Asim, sir, can you please share the screen for sure, the presentation yeah, share the so screen. that we can start? Is the screen visible? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, as you can see, uh, uh, we have uh, with the collaboration with the uh, CF University uh, with their uh, CWAS program, uh, inclusive sanitation service delivery in Sindhar. Uh, recently, we uh, all know that we got the prize uh, at the IWA in Kigali uh, for the uh, service delivery uh, mechanism. Uh, that is a case study for the reuse of treated waste uh, used water uh, used water and a sludge uh, at the resource center. Uh, as you can, uh, uh, we can see the uh, Sinner. Uh, it is located in a Nasik district of Maharashtra. It is a approximately 82 85000 population uh, populated city uh, of a medium size it covers around uh, 22000 uh, of uh, households uh, plus some of the commercial uh, uh, establishments as well uh, city has a 52 square kilometer of area uh, has a 14 of election wards and uh, we can see the uh, around 5000 uh, slum population is there uh, Uh, as uh, we have, uh, uh, it is a representation of uh, uh, largely as we can see the 4,000 plus uh, small and medium sized city as uh, we have seen in the earlier slide. Uh, we have improved uh, uh, FSSM in a similar that in that case uh, we have 90% of access to the own toilets of safe onset containment. Uh, earlier we have uh, uh, government has launched the ODF scheme. And uh, in SBM, uh, the mission, uh, which is the mission scheme of the government of India, uh, the government has uh, proactively launches the ODF, ODF plus, and ODF plus uh, uh, categories. In that case, uh, we have uh, ninety percent of uh, individual own household uh, toilets, uh, which is accessible to the households. Uh, some of our, uh, we have uh, some of case we have the community and public toilet as well. Uh, in that case, we have uh, sure septic tank uh, we are, uh, the household individual household have uh, septic tanks uh, which uh, which are not uh, uh, which uh, which don't have the uh, schedule disledging uh, mechanism earlier uh, that is uh, that is the case uh, we have the household we have who, who has uh, access to the own toilet but the septic tanks has a uh, uh, they don't have a uh, disledging mechanism uh, schedule disledging as we can say so uh, in that case, uh, the more uh, the uh, each property or the household has a uh, septic uh, sludge uh, that is uh, collected uh, um, that is remain uh, at that uh, at that uh, case for the longer time of period. So uh, in that, that case, uh, we we have come with the scheduled disledging uh, concept in that. Uh, so uh, scheduled disledging, we have divided the city in uh, different parts and uh, we have uh, in the survey delivery mechanism, we have uh, uh, initi initiated the uh, concept of a scheduled disledging in, uh, in which the each part of the city is uh, uh, disledged in a periodic uh, manner, in a periodic manner, the septic tank which is get uh, collected the uh, sludge for the period of a uh, longer time. They don't have a mechanism uh, or have a mechanism of uh, calling uh, when the septic tank gets full or it get uh, smelly and uh, uh, in that case uh, only then the municipal council or the uh, service uh, they have provided the service of uh, disledging but in uh, scheduled disledging they have launched the concept of uh, uh, periodically uh, disledging the septic tank uh, and it was uh, disledged and uh, get back to, to our uh, FSTP plant where it it gets treated and uh, we have the uh, 
we have the operational mechanism we can uh, we can see in the next uh, early, uh, upcoming slides and second uh, in the second case we have the gray water treatment plant in that case we have the small uh, gray water treatment plant where we can we have uh, intercepted the uh, the sewage water uh, or we can say the gray water which is a used household water and it is get intercepted at the uh, one part of the uh, which is called as the Ayashwara garden where uh, we have uh, intercepted the water and uh, it get uh, treated in our water treatment plant and it uh, it is get used uh, reused for the maintenance maintenance of the garden uh, in the both cases in oh, the oh, FSTP oh, oh, oh. sorry In the uh, both the projects, uh, that is the uh, fecal sludge treatment plant and grey water treatment plant, we have 100% use of a uh, treated used water, and the uh, sludge is used for the uh, as an uh, we can say the fertilizer uh, for the maintaining the garden and the urban forest. We have to maintain the urban forest and the garden, which can be uh, seen in the uh, the first slide uh, where we uh, we have seen the some of the women's uh, sacred group who. Uh, were giving the uh, tender or were give, empowered the empowered for the maintenance of that garden. We can uh, get it in the next uh, some of our slide. Uh, as you can see, uh, sanitation solution in uh, 2012. Uh, we have uh, uh, the partnership with the Safe University and the CWAS program uh, in uh, 2012 itself. From since then, we have collaboration in a different part, in like a, in a technical assistant, uh, maintenance, uh, then uh, for the uh, build up the project, and then day-to-day uh, -day maintenance and uh, operational of, operation of the that uh, that uh, plant. Uh, here we can see 30% uh, 13% 30 of the open defecation uh, was in uh, similar uh, back then. Uh, then high dependency on the community toilets, and community toilets are non-functional. Uh, these are the uh, then we have uh, tapped the first uh, issue of the access access to the toilets in that case government of india also launched uh, some of the their own initiatives for uh, access uh, access uh, toilet uh, uh, access even, uh, to the toilets individual toilets per se in that case we have uh, individual household uh, toilet uh, scheme uh, from from the sbm uh, such bharat mission which was a uh, flagship program of government of india in that we have uh, uh, some of the ihhl and uh, other uh, uh, schemes where the beneficiaries get uh, some of uh, the cash amount uh, in uh, for uh, building the toilets uh, that is of the uh, i think uh, 12000 uh, uh, 12000 per individual uh, household toilets uh, the government has provided 12000 and municipal uh, council of sindar also uh, uh, pass the resolution where we as a municipal council in our own funds we uh, give the amount of 5000 per individual toilets that is 12,000 uh, 12, from the government of India and 5000 from individu individually from our municipal council funds that 17,000 uh, of uh, 17,000 of uh, the amount is uh, provided to the uh, beneficiary uh, and we have given the uh, we have promoted the uh, them to build up a toilet uh, to have larger access to them then uh, from the collection part of you uh, we have uh, uh, we have the uh, septic tanks uh, that uh, the sludge which get uh, collected in the septic tanks uh, we have the uh, our our uh, have, in the participation of the uh, one of our uh, uh, partner uh, that is sumit facilitator we have uh, uh, the septic uh, uh, septic tank collecting uh, uh, vehicles where we can we have uh, sent the vehicles to the different part of the city in the periodic manner so that the, the sludge which get collected in that septic tanks get uh, dislodged in a uh, periodic way so that uh, it not uh, uh, so it not get it, uh, earlier uh, that is the case where uh, septic tanks remains in that uh, 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 sludge get uh, remain in that septic tank for the longer period so that uh, and it was not get collected uh, in the what can I say that uh, in a uh, in a larger way so they uh, they have collected uh, the sludge from the septic tanks in a periodic way and 
they uh, it get uh, transported to our uh, treatment plant okay. uh, as we can see on the uh, uh, as till uh, till today uh, we have uh, uh, 4723 plus uh, septic tanks have been discharged uh, covering uh, over uh, 8583 properties and uh, 3.4 crore liters of uh, uh, septic uh, has been treated from uh, in our uh, FSTP plant. Uh, and uh, five to seven septic tanks are uh, discharged per day as compared to, uh, eight to per eight, uh, seven to eight uh, per month in the 2017 when demand of the discharging was happening. Uh, for that purpose, we have uh, imposed the sanitation tax uh, on the in our property tax itself. Uh, in the ta sanitation tax, we have collected uh, 300 per year and that is uh, 900 per three years that is the case and that is sanitation tax is uh, uh, for uh, which is get collected in uh, in the form of a uh, property tax it get uh, uh, debited uh, credited in our uh, one of the escrow account and that escrow account we have uh, uh, we have the uh, non non profit and non loss uh, basis we have the uh, one of our partner uh, sumit facilitator and we pay uh, them uh, from that uh, the sanitation tax the money which is get uh, collected in that uh, escrow account we uh, pay the uh, service uh, charges to the uh, our partner or the civil facilitator uh, from that account itself so we can say that uh, household uh, get promoted for paying the sanitation tax and they get uh, uh, better they get better uh, they get uh, service uh, on that behalf As we can see uh, that 8,000 of square meter of urban forest and landscape uh, in the barren land. Earlier that uh, the uh, our SWM, uh, SWM site as of uh, before we can uh, see the picture of uh, in the site in the corner uh, where uh, the land it, it was a barren land. Uh, when we acquired that land for the SWM uh, sewage uh, uh, solid waste management purpose, uh, then we uh, launch our solidus management uh, component and as well as fstp component in uh, that landscape uh, itself so after uh, we can see uh, the after image we have uh, maintained the two guard uh, we can say the urban forest or garden which are maintained by the self help group these are the women who are who are giving uh, we have given the contact them uh, to them to maintaining the garden earlier that woman uh, worked in the industries uh, like uh, MIDC from uh, we have the two MIDCs in uh, the adjacent to the our city and they have a very hardship uh, job over there so uh, they left that job and uh, we have and we have uh, we have uh, taken a meeting to have such and we have briefing uh, we, we have given a briefing about that project and uh, uh, we have brought uh, some of the uh, self-help group friendly clauses in our tender document. Uh, by that purpose, we have giving, uh, given uh, the tender to the self-help group. And now they are uh, only uh, maintaining the garden. Earlier, they were, uh, they were doing uh, some hardship job in, in industries. Uh, and now they are uh, maintaining, the guard, uh, maintaining the garden through this purpose. So we have the uh, well persons with the, that uh, project. First one is the uh, obviously the uh, sanitation purpose, uh, recycling the resources and maintaining the garden. And secondly, we have also provided them uh, employment or per se the uh, what uh, employment and through uh, we have empowered the women. So we can see the uh, two three uh, goals of uh, uh, SDGs, uh, Sustainable Development Goal. We have achieved through this uh, project. As uh, we, uh, we all know the uh, importance of uh, uh, the global warming and uh, all those uh, climate uh, change and uh, mitigation and ad adaptation issues. So we have the uh, environmental and socio-economical impacts of the project. That is the reuse of uh, treated uh, water contributing to the carbon mitigation. Uh, we, are, we can probably say that uh, 46 million plus liters of fresh water has been saved due to reuse of uh, treated uh, used water. Uh, as we can... Uh, 
as i said earlier that we have maintained the uh, urban forest and gardens uh, so uh, the resource recycling uh, is the one of the component and uh, secondly the 10000 square meters of land is developed in the form of urban forest and gardening by reusing the treated water uh, then we can see the co2 equivalent to uh, 2268 metric ton sequestered over the 25 years through the urban forest and garden at the fstp plant as well as uh, we can see the co2 equivalent to the 231 metric ton to be mitigated over 25 years uh, through solar units uh, at the fstp and uh, grey water treatment plant uh, one thing uh, uh, is also uh, uh, remain to mention over here the fstp and grey water treatment plants uh, are 100 percently used from the solar units we don't uh, so uh, here we can also say that we have uh, saved the energy or we are using the 100% of the green energy over here. Uh, the SHG and uh, uh, the FH, uh, as I have mentioned earlier, this is the convergence of the SBM and uh, SH, uh, SHG, that is NULM. We are providing the employment to the uh, needy uh, women or needy uh, uh, we can say the people uh, from the uh, providing for the providing them uh, to this gardening and all this activity and the maintaining maintaining the garden. Dry water treatment plant uh, uh, it is a run uh, operationalized and uh, maintained only by the self help group. Uh, that is, we have provided the technical, uh, some of the technical uh, training to these women uh, for the grey water treatment plant. And through this plant, uh, we have meant, uh, they, uh, the woman itself, uh, maintaining the garden and operating the grey water treatment plant itself. So uh, we can see uh, the convergence of NULM and uh, SBM. Next, uh, the second uh, part about the. Uh, this project is uh, IT enable monitoring the system of uh, SSSM. That is, uh, we have the two uh, app over here. That is a Sanit tab and a Sanit track. Sanit track is uh, used for the uh, tracking the uh, septic tanks vehicles movement. That is, uh, uh, we have divided the city in uh, three parts, and the uh, one part is get uh, covered in uh, one year. So, and the uh, GPS enabled vehicle is uh, moving from property there. Uh, track and uh, their uh, route map is uh, already uh, already decided and uh, the uh, Sanitrack app is uh, uh, helpful uh, for tracking the movement of the vehicle and Sanitrack is also one of uh, one also uh, other app uh, which can be used for the tracking the uh, uh, the household uh, where the vehicle uh, uh, the vehicle dislodging vehicle where uh, it goes to the household for uh, dislodging the septic tanks. The Sanitab app uh, maintain the record of the uh, in the, uh, all the household where the uh, vehicle has uh, reached and where the septic tank is dislodged. And the tab also provided the uh, household owner. Uh, they, uh, after the dislodging the uh, septic tank, uh, the tab provided that the owner signs uh, uh, sign on the, that app so that uh, we have uh, authenticate uh, uh, and tracking uh, about the uh, movement of the vehicle and uh, that type help us to uh, get uh, to get risk to the individual household and the owner itself uh, giving their uh, authorized sign for collect uh, dislodging the uh, septic tank and, uh, This is the timeline uh, where we can see uh, from uh, 2012 itself, uh, we are in, uh, uh, we have a, a great uh, partnership with the SEPT University and with the CWAS program, where the, they have provided consistent support from the, right from the inception of the project to the building the project and to the, uh, now the day-to-day -day, uh, operation and maintenance of that uh, project. From 2012, uh, we have uh, developed our city sanitation plan uh, best uh, making uh, and we have uh, motive uh, or we have uh, targeted to making Sinner as an ODF uh, city and uh, safe management of a fecal sludge. Then in 2017, uh, we have uh, uh, we have get that uh, tag of ODF uh, as on 22nd of July 2017. 
2018, we have a designing model, a tender document, and installation of FSTP plant through uh, involvement of a private private player. Uh, in 19, we have uh, uh, operationalized uh, our uh, FSTP plant, and we have uh, in the same year we have uh, declared as an ODF plus plus CT. Uh, we have continued the support of ODF sustainability and as uh, fecal slug uh, uh, safety management activities in 2020 uh, as well. And uh, in uh, 21, we have involvement of SHGs for the operation and maintenance of garden and urban forest through tendering process. As uh, I have said earlier, we have uh, brought the, some of the uh, SHG friendly uh, tender documents and we have uh, uh, giving, uh, given uh, just some of the technical training to the SHGs to operationalize and maintain the, uh, the plant itself and to maintain the garden and uh, urban forest through which we have provided them employment and livelihood. Uh, and uh, 2020, uh, the started the use of treated water and sludge through the SHGs, as I have mentioned uh, uh, earlier. Here, uh, here are the learnings from the similar are being uh, scaled up in the Maharashtra and other cities of India. As uh, I have mentioned, that uh, we have uh, the Septennial City uh, in collaboration with similar and uh, Sept is also working with the other ULBs as well, uh, like Y and uh, other. Cities are also uh, approaching uh, or having interest in uh, making uh, uh, their own cities uh, having a uh, that kind of a model for their uh, sanitation and uh, SSG programs. So uh, we have a Swachh Bharat mission uh, and uh, uh, through which SEPT uh, is planning to have a thousand plus FSTP or implementation in India and three uh, three hundred plus FSTC alone in a Maharashtra. So uh, we have now the SDG 6 uh, goal uh, that is a uh, sanitation and uh, uh, clear drinking water. Uh, the similar municipal council and along the uh, all other council are trying to uh, uh, have uh, some of uh, their own initiatives in the field of uh, uh, sustainable development goals uh, through which we have the, uh, the uh, through we uh, can achieve the resource recovery and use of clean energy. Uh, like uh, uh, this FSTP and grey water treatment plant. Uh, and uh, secondly, uh, we have, as uh, earlier I mentioned, the SVMN and uh, NLM Carbonium is an initiative launched at the national level, also being implemented in Maharashtra. That is a Priti Sangam of uh, SBM and NLM. Uh, having a uh, some, such a kind of a project or sm uh, small scale of project can give a, a livelihood or employment to the uh, needy women who are working in a hardship jobs. And uh, also, we have uh, through this uh, SBM, uh, we have uh, access to the toilets, uh, having a uh, scheduled desludging through which we have uh, a periodically cleaning of uh, septic tanks. Uh, like we have uh, a model in a similar, like a three year of target of completing a uh, desludging uh, city uh, as, per, uh, as a case. So, uh, this kind of a model or this kind of convergence is. Uh, bound to happen or is planned to happen in a uh, different cities of Maharashtra and India as well. So uh, these are some of our recognitions. Uh, recognitions uh, like uh, we have uh, uh, as we can see in the slide uh, the seventh CSR and uh, these are the uh, seventh uh, CSR impact awards, uh, second prize in uh, ninth uh, FIS SSA award award uh and the other also awards are also to mention uh, next these are the partnerships and collaborations that we have uh, that is the uh, bill and melinda gates foundation uh, these are the our uh, uh, through which we have uh, got the uh, finance and other technical support uh, and also the safe university she was they are right from the inception to the uh, building or planning uh, the project uh, through the uh, maintenance and the day to day monitoring uh, uh, all this mechanism with the constant uh, technical support of uh, thank you so much all of you uh, thank you uh, ritesh ji for this detailed presentation um I think it's an extensive work that the city has done. And uh, maybe just to quickly summarize what Ritesh ji just said, that this city uh, 
uh, has played the collaboration, the way the collaboration happened in this city is that CWAS only played a role of an enabler. So they, they the CWAS team did not do any activities by themselves, but they built the capacities of the local government to do scheduled desludging, FSTP, O&M, SHG engagement, urban forest, and also all the activities were led by the city governments. Only the research that was required to be done for these specific activities was technically supported by CWAS. So we need to understand that uh, the doer here is the city government and not the CWAS team. And I think that's the essence of the relationship that these organizations have built that you need to identify yourself as an enabler rather than a doer if you want to have an impactful and an institutional program. So for example, the Sindhna project has actually ended for CWAS. But these activities that Ritesh Ji just mentioned still continue. So that's why it has been institutionalized in a system only when the city governments runs the show and not the external agency that come in. So thank you Ritesh Ji for the presentation. There are some questions on the chat, uh, but what I will request, I think I see Nasreen has a question, but if you can post it on the chat, uh, we have one more presentation from another stalwart city. Uh, once we have that, we will open up the questions to the audience as well and uh, we'll reflect back. Sorry, apologies, but we have to, we are, we are a bit cognizant of your time uh, and the time of the commissioner uh, that we have right now. So uh, moving on to the next uh, presentation, <clears throat> we have Ashish Rokadeji from Karad Municipal Council. And uh, <clears throat> Ashish ji is a, sorry, one minute. Uh, yes, there he is. So Ashish ji is, uh, has been working as a city coordinator at the Karad Municipal Council since October 2020. And he, he is leading the activities around sanitation and solid waste management. Mm -hmm. He has been one of the champions to implement whatever you're going to hear from him in next few slides and next few moments that he has actually led and made that things happen along with the chief officer of the city. Okay. Uh, before joining KMC, uh, he had done his master's in construction management and has eight years of experience working with Tata projects and other construction led infra in Mumbai. So thank you Ashish ji for joining at a short notice and apologies for a short notice. I know CEO had to, the chief officer of the city had to go for a election duty, uh, last moment call. So, and that we have to learn while working with the government. <laughs> so that's our learning. Uh, but over to you Ashish ji for sharing some of the excellent work that Karad has done and many accolades that Karad has won under the state of Maharashtra as the cleanest city and all, so, as well as the SBM. So over to you, Ashish ji. Uh, I'll share the screen for you. Yeah. Thank you, Asim ji, uh, to provide us opportunity to uh, what Karad has done in this sector. Uh, please share your screen so that you have yeah. Uh, am I audible to everyone? Yes, Ashish. You can okay. see the slides. Uh, let's start. Uh, now I think I will explain this all PPT in Hindi so that I can explain it in, in a better sure, way. Sure, no problem. Yeah. So uh, is everyone comfortable in, with Hindi? Yes, yes. Please go ahead, Ashish. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Yes, sure. Uh, first, uh, climate resilient wash services uh, delivery in Karad. This yeah. topic is uh, that in this situation, in this scenario, the global warming जो बढ़ रहा है उसके लिए बहुत ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है उस टॉपिक के अंडर हमने जो काम किया है क्लाइमेट फ्रेंडली वॉश एक्टिविटीज जो हमने ली है जो इनिशिएटिव्स हमने लिए है वो मैं यहां पे आपको एक्सप्लेन करना चाहूंगा नेक्स्ट स्लाइड आसिम जी First, uh, vulnerability in India is increased due to a climate change that all we know. Jo droughts are rahe hain, jo floods are rahe hain, jo climate change ho raha hai, aur jo uh, early raining ho raha hai, ya without season heavy raining ho raha hai, wo sab uh, 
क्लाइमेट चेंज की वजह से हो रहा है इंक्रीज इन टेम्परेचर की वजह से हो रहा है ये हम सब जानते हैं तो इसको रिड्यूस करने के लिए और जैसे पहले हमारा जो एनवायरमेंटल एनवायरमेंट जैसे पहले था उसको रिस्टोर करने के लिए हम लोग कुछ इनिशिएटिव्स ले रहे हैं उसके बारे में हम लोग आगे देखेंगे फर्स्ट जैसे आप देख सकते हैं कि कराड ये अभी आप स्क्रीन पे देख सकते हैं बेसिक जो कराड का रिप्रेजेंटेशन है वो जैसे 89,000 का पॉपुलेशन 10.5 स्क्वायर किलोमीटर्स का एरिया है और 1853 स्लम पॉपुलेशन है आप जैसे मैप में देख सकते हैं कराड इज सराउंडेड बाय रिवर कृष्णा फ्रॉम थ्री साइड्स सो वी हैव लॉट्स ऑफ वाटर टू ड्रिंक एंड as per the mentality of people to waste also next lekin usko thoda sa tap karne ke liye humne kuch initiatives liye hain jaise ki jo water connections hai usko metering karna जैसे आप यहाँ पे देख सकते हैं कि वाटर कनेक्शन को हमने मीटरिंग किया हुआ है मीटरिंग की वजह से हेल्प ये होती है कि जो वेस्टेज ऑफ वाटर है वो रिड्यूस होता है लोगों को समझ में आता है कि कितना वाटर हमने यूज किया है और कितना हमने वाटर वेस्ट किया है उससे उनका वाटर बिल वाटर चार्जेस जो है वो भी बढ़ते हैं और इकोनॉमिकली प्रेशर आने की वजह से लोग वाटर को वाटर का वेस्टेज कम करते हैं उसके लिए हमने एक तो वाटर मीटरिंग किया और दूसरा कि स्लम्स में क्या होता है ज्यादातर जिनके पास सेपरेट वाटर कनेक्शन होते हैं वहां पे वेस्टेज ऑफ वाटर ज्यादा होता है उसको रिड्यूस करने के लिए हमने थोड़े ग्रुप कनेक्शन दिए मतलब तीन या चार स्लम हाउस होल्ड्स के लिए स्लम के एक कनेक्शन दिया सो so देट उनकी जो रिक्वायरमेंट है पर डे की वो दस से पंद्रह मिनट के वाटर सप्लाई में ही फुलफिल हो जाती है तो रिमेनिंग जो टाइम है वो वाटर पूरा वेस्ट होता था पहले तो उसको टैप करने के लिए हमने पांच हाउस होल्ड्स में एक कनेक्शन दिया सो दैट वाटर कैन बी यूज्ड इफिशियंटली और दूसरा जो अभी ग्राउंड वाटर का जो सिचुएशन है हमारा सब लोग जानते हैं कि ग्राउंड वाटर लेवल बहुत डाउन हो रहा है तो उसको रिचार्ज करने के लिए हमने हर एक इंस्टीट्यूशनल बिल्डिंग्स पे और कराड म्यूनिसपल काउंसिल के ओनरशिप वाले ईच एंड एवरी बिल्डिंग पे हमने रेन वाटर हार्वेस्टिंग सिस्टम इंस्टॉल uh, किया है और हम वन परसेंट प्रॉपर्टी टैक्स में सब्सिडी दे रहे हैं जो हाउस होल्ड अपने घरों में रेन वाटर हार्वेस्टिंग सिस्टम इंस्टॉल कर रहे हैं उनकी नेक्स्ट उसके बाद हमने दूसरा एक इनिशिएटिव लिया कि जो वाटर हमारा सीवेज से कलेक्ट हो रहा है हमारे यहाँ पे कराड़ में 100 परसेंट सीवेज कनेक्टिविटी है सीवर कनेक्टिविटी है तो उससे अराउंड 8.5 टू 9 एम वाटर हर रोज हमारे यहाँ पे यूज्ड वाटर कलेक्शन होता है तो उसको हम लोग एस uh, में ट्रेड करते हैं तो इतने ह्यूज क्वांटिटी में वाटर कलेक्शन हो रहा है और क्योंकि हमारी सिटी तीन साइड से रिवर से रिवर uh, है तीनों साइड में तो सबसे बड़ी प्रॉब्लम हमारे सामने ये थी कि ये जो यूज्ड वाटर आ रहा है उसको हम लोग ट्रीट कर रहे हैं उसको यूज कहाँ पे करना है क्योंकि रिवर तो अवेलेबल है ट्वेंटी फोर बाय सेवन वाटर सप्लाई अवेलेबल है तो ये वाटर कहाँ जाएगा तो उसको रिवर में छोड़ने के बजाय हमने क्या किया कि हमारे यहाँ पे एक वाटर सप्लाई एजेंसी है उसको हमने वो वाटर दिया वो एग्रीकल्चरल फील्ड को वो रीयूज uh, वाटर वो सप्लाई करते हैं तो जो फ्रेश वाटर की रिक्वायरमेंट है शुगर केन के लिए वो रिक्वायरमेंट कम हो गया उसकी वजह से हमारा वाटर रीयूज वाटर भी रिसाइकल uh, वाटर भी रीयूज होने लगा तो अराउंड एम एल डी पर डे फ्रेश वाटर की रिक्वायरमेंट कम हो गई हमारे यहाँ नेक्स्ट प्लीज जैसे कि आप यहाँ पे देख सकते हैं ये पूरा चार्ट बनाया गया है 93 परसेंट आई एच एस टी कवरेज है और वी आर टारगेटिंग 100 परसेंट टू आई एच एस टी कवरेज 
सेवन परसेंट डिपेंडेंसी अभी सिटी पिटी पे है पॉपुलेशन की उसको भी हमें रिड्यूस करना है टिल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव वी आर टारगेटिंग दिस सीवर नेटवर्क हंड्रेड परसेंट कवरेज है इसकी वजह से फाइव पंपिंग स्टेशन के साथ हम लोग पूरा सीवेज जो आता है उसको ट्रीट करते हैं जो ट्रीट सीवेज ट्रीट होने के बाद जो स्लज रहता है उसको हम लोग अलग से सेपरेट आउट करके उससे कंपोस्ट बनाते हैं और वो कंपोस्ट हम लोग सॉलिड वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट का कंपोस्ट अलग स्टोर करते हैं और ये यूज्ड वाटर का अलग रिसाइकल्ड वाटर का कंपोस्ट अलग यूज करते हैं क्योंकि दोनों का जो कंपोजिशन है कंपोस्ट का वो अलग अलग रहता है क्योंकि सीवेज में कभी कभी हेवी मेटल्स भी हमको मिल जाते हैं टेस्टिंग करने के बाद ये पता चला कि उसमें थोड़े बहुत ही हेवी मेटल्स रहते हैं तो उसको 100 परसेंट हम लोग वहां पे यूज नहीं कर सकते तो हम लोग अर्बन फॉरेस्ट में थोड़ा उसको यूज करते हैं थोड़ा सॉलिड वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट के कंपोस्ट को यूज करते हैं नेक्स्ट जैसे कि मैंने अभी बताया आपको कि सॉलिड वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट सर्विसेज के लिए हमारे यहाँ पे एम आर एफ फैसिलिटी है ड्राई वेस्ट प्लांट है दो वेट वेस्ट प्लांट भी है नाइनटीन एम एड टन पर डे कैपेसिटी के और सेग्रीगेशन ड्राई वेस्ट का हम लोग सेग्रीगेशन करते हैं अराउंड थर्टीन टाइप्स का ड्राई वेस्ट सेग्रीगेशन हमारे यहाँ पे होता है उसको हम लोग बेलिंग करके वापस से रिसाइकलर को सोल्ड कर देते हैं और दूसरा एक नोटिसेबल इनिशिएटिव हमारा ये है कि बायोमेडिकल वेस्ट जो है उसके लिए हमारे यहाँ पे पीपीपी मॉडल पे बेस्ट प्लांट है उस प्लांट के लिए स्पेस की जो रिक्वायरमेंट थी जगह म्यूनिसपल काउंसिल ने प्रोवाइड की है और कराड़ हॉस्पिटल एसोसिएशन ने उसका इरेक्शन और ऑपरेशन मेंटेनेंस वो देखते हैं तो इट इज द इंडिया फर्स्ट प्लांट ऑफ बायोमेडिकल वेस्ट विच इज ऑन पीपीपी बेस्ट मॉडल नेक्स्ट प्लीज कार्बन सिंक जो एक मेन हेल्पिंग हमारा एक्टिविटी है जो ग्लोबल uh, वार्मिंग को रिड्यूस करता है उसके लिए हमने सबसे पहले तो मियावा की फॉरेस्टिंग का सहारा लिया जैसे कि अर्बन uh, फॉरेस्ट भी हम लोग उसको बोलते हैं तो अर्बन फॉरेस्ट के हमारे यहाँ पे अराउंड फाइव प्रोजेक्ट है uh, उसमें हमने लगभग थर्टी टू थाउजेंड स्क्वायर मीटर एरिया कवर किया हुआ है ट्वेंटी एट थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड प्लांट पूरे प्लांटेड है अभी और दो प्रोजेक्ट चल रहे हैं उसमें और टेन थाउजेंड प्लांट प्लांटेशन चालू है अराउंड फोर्टी सेवन थाउजेंड टन ऑफ सी ओ टू नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी ईयर्स में ये सिक्वेस्टरिंग सिक्वेस्टरिंग होगा ये कैलकुलेशन है और उसके लिए वो जो अर्बन फॉरेस्ट है उसके लिए अराउंड ट्वेंटी मिलियन लीटर्स ऑफ फ्रेश वाटर सेव किया है हमने ड्यू टू यूज ऑफ ट्रीटेड वेस्ट वाटर नेक्स्ट एक्शन टेकन फॉर फैसिलिटिंग क्लाइमेट फ्रेंडली इनिशिएटिव क्लाइमेट फ्रेंडली इनिशिएटिव यूज करे दूसरा वाटर रेन वाटर हार्वेस्टिंग का यूज करे और थर्ड रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी सोर्सेस का यूज करे इसके लिए म्यूनिसिपल काउंसिल अपनी तरफ से जो इनिशिएटिव है वो ले ही ले, ले ही रही है लेकिन जब तक कुछ अचीव नहीं कर सकते तो हमने क्या किया कि म्यूनिसिपल काउंसिल प्रॉपर्टी टैक्स में फाइव परसेंट इंसेंटिव दे रहा है जिन घरों के ऊपर सोलर पैनल्स लगाए हुए जो लोग रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी का यूज कर रहे हैं उनको 5 परसेंट प्रॉपर्टी टैक्स में इंसेंटिव दे रहे हैं और जो हाउस होल्ड्स बायोगैस प्लांट भी यूज कर रहे हैं उनको वन इंसेंटिव दे रहे हैं और जो हाउस होल्डिंग कर रहे हैं उनको भी वन परसेंट का इंसेंटिव दे रहे हैं और दूसरा हमने इनकॉर्पोरेट किया है रेन वाटर हार्वेस्टिंग सिस्टम बिल्डिंग परमिशन देते समय ही रेन वाटर हार्वेस्टिंग को कंपलसरी किया जाता है और उसके साथ दूसरा एक हमने किया है कि जो जब प्लिंथ का फिलिंग होता है बिल्डिंग में उसमें भी हमने थर्टी परसेंट जो हमारा सी एन डी वेस्ट मटेरियल है उसको भी कंपल्सरी किया है सो देट वी कैन रिड्यूस द सी एन डी वेस्ट मटेरियल ऑल्सो एंड 
uh, we install rainwater harvesting modes. Next. Mitigation, electricity consumption plays a big role. As we all know that the water supply scheme and the water treatment scheme, this is a lot of consumption for electricity consumption. So, as you can see in the chart, there is also a comparison between Nagpur, Rajgaon and Karar. So, for water supply, we have 61% electricity consumption. For water treatment, 26%. और रिमेनिंग जो है वो स्ट्रीट लाइट और म्यूनिसिपल काउंसिल के बिल्डिंग्स में कंजम्पशन होता है तो हम अगर वाटर ट्रीटमेंट और वाटर सप्लाई का जो कंजम्पशन है उसको रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी से रिप्लेस करें तो वहाँ पे भी हम लोग कार्बन सिंक कर सकते हैं और ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा सीओ टू इमिशन में सीओ टू इमिशन कम करने में हम लोग उसका यूज दे सकते हैं नेक्स्ट उसके लिए हमने क्या किया है सबसे पहले तो आ, 1 1.5 किलोवाट के सोलर पैनल्स हमारे टॉयलेट्स के ऊपर हम लोग इंस्टॉल कर रहे हैं सिटी पीटीज के ऊपर अभी फाइव सिटी पीटीज फैसिलिटीज पे इंस्टॉल हो गए हैं रिमेनिंग सिक्स और हम लोग इन प्रोसेस है 72 किलोवाट सोलर पैनल्स एस के ऊपर हमने इंस्टॉल किया हुआ है जो कि अभी हमारी रिक्वायरमेंट 350 फिफ्टी की है रिमेनिंग जो 280 है हम लोग उसका भी टेंडरिंग प्रोसेस में है उसके साथ ही हमारे पास फाइव टन पर डे कैपेसिटी का बायोगैस प्लांट है उस बायोगैस से हम लोग एनर्जी जनरेटर के साथ एनर्जी प्रोड्यूस करते हैं और वो एनर्जी हम लोग सॉलिड वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट प्लांट में जो बेलिंग मशीन है और जो वेट वेस्ट श्रेडर्स रहते हैं उसके लिए यूज करते हैं और वहाँ की जो स्ट्रीट लाइट्स है उसके लिए भी वही बायोमिथेनाइशन प्लांट के इलेक्ट्रिसिटी का यूज होता है अभी करंटली हम लोग सेवन सिक्सटी किलो वैट ऑफ सोलर प्रोजेक्ट्स अंडर कंस्ट्रक्शन है सो दैट वी कैन रिड्यूस सो दैट वी कैन प्रोड्यूस थ्री थाउजेंड यूनिट्स पर डे इलेक्ट्रिसिटी उससे आप सोच सकते हैं कि कितना सीओ टू की मिशन हम रिड्यूस कर सकते हैं ओवर द नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स अभी हम लोग टू और टू थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड एटी एट मेगावाट क्लीन एनर्जी जनरेट करेंगे नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स में करंट कैपेसिटी के साथ और टू थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड सिक्सटी एट टन ऑफ सीओ रिड्यूस करेंगे नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट स्लाइड प्लीज असीन हाँ आई शिफ्टेड ऑन द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड आई थिंक थोड़ा नेट का प्रॉब्लम था हेलो नेक्स्ट स्लाइड प्लीज असीन हाँ नेक्स्ट स्लाइड हुआ क्या नहीं, आई थिंक नेट है। अब हुआ? हाँ। अब फ्रॉम एम पी सी बी इन ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन माझी वसुंधरा पुरस्कार उसके बाद हमें स्वच्छ सर्वेक्षण 2020 और 2019 में फर्स्ट रैंक मिला नेशनल लेवल पे और उसके बाद हम लोग फर्स्ट वेस्ट जोन में फर्स्ट रैंक मिला 2021 को स्वच्छ सर्वेक्षण में 2021 को माझी वसुंधरा अभियान जो माय अर्थ मिशन है महाराष्ट्र स्टेट गवर्नमेंट का उसमें हमें सेकंड रैंक मिला 2022 में हमने फर्स्ट रैंक अचीव किया 2023 में भी फिर से अगेन हमने फर्स्ट रैंक अचीव किया उसके बाद हमने सी uh, के साथ एम साइन किया सी uh, ने हमें सपोर्ट किया फॉर इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ सोलर पावर प्रोजेक्ट एक्ट एट एस टी पी विच इज सेवन टू किलोवेट्स उसके बाद हमने जो अर्बन फॉरेस्ट थे वहाँ पे भी सी ने हमें सपोर्ट किया Uh, एक एकड़ लैंड में वहाँ पे एक अर्बन फॉरेस्ट सी के साथ हमने बनाया और उसके ऑपरेशन और मेंटेनेंस के लिए हमने सी वॉस uh, हम लोग टच uh, में हैं टेक्निकल सपोर्ट सी प्रोवाइड कर रहा है और एस को हमने एंगेज किया है देर आर टू एस एच जी एंगेज इन दैट प्लांट 
for ONM. Uh, we are uh, in 2024. We are developing uh, urban forest with sea wash support, and also we are uh, in uh, reuse. We are starting reuse, reuse of treated water project through SNG. Next. Uh, here are some recognitions and achievements of. Uh, Karad Municipal Council. पहले तो हमें green building certification मिला for 2022 to 2025 uh, period. Uh, उसके बाद जैसे मैंने पहले बताया कि 2023 में माजी वसुंधरा अभियान competition में हमने first rank achieve किया तो हमें uh, SBM में three star garbage free city का certification है और uh, जैसे कि आप देख सकते हैं जो माजी वसुंधरा के जो सर्टिफिकेट्स हैं वो वहां पे डिस्प्ले हो रहे हैं और एक आ, दूसरा अचीवमेंट ये है कि 2022 में हमने वाटर प्लस ओडीएफ कैटेगरी में वाटर प्लस जो हाईएस्ट रैंकिंग है ओडीएफ कैटेगरी का स्वच्छ सो रैंकिंग के लिए वो भी हमने अचीव किया है इन 2022 वी आर द देयर आर ओनली uh, till 2022 in Maharashtra, we are one of them. Next, please. Okay. Uh, so, we, जैसे कि मैंने बताया कि कराड ने जो initiatives लिए है, जो under process है, उसे हम लोग uh, carbon sink, carbon emission reduce करने में, uh, hopefully, ज्यादा हम लोग और इनिशिएटिव लेंगे और और ज्यादा कार्बन इमिशन कम करने में हम लोग सफल होंगे और उसके लिए हमें सीवर्स का टेक्निकल सपोर्ट लगेगा आई आई रिक्वेस्ट आसिम टू बी विद अस फॉर दिस टारगेट अचीवमेंट थैंक यू थैंक यू आशीष जी आई थिंक एक्सेप्शनल अचीवमेंट्स है कराड सिटी की एंड we know that it has been a stalwart even before we started work. So, but we are helping you improve. I think all activities you are leading. So, thank you very much uh, for an excellent presentation and uh, your kind words. Uh, Prasanna, you wanted something yes. to share. So, yeah, over yes. to you. I just uh, wanted to take a minute here uh, to mention that uh, the work done by uh, both these uh, municipal councils. First of all, uh, Thanks a lot for excellent presentations, very detailed and very uh, informative. And uh, just wanted to mention that work done by these two municipal councils was uh, celebrated at uh, our recent uh, conference in Kigali, Rwanda, which happened in uh, December 2023. Uh, Sindar Municipal Council, uh, Mr. Bairagi was there. Um, so uh, they were recognized as uh, inclusive urban sanitation champions for their work in uh, disposal and reuse. And uh, Karad Municipal Council, uh, they were uh, felicitated as a climate smart uh, city. And uh, I'll, I'll take this uh, opportunity to also uh, reach out to other municipal councils who are here. Because uh, I'm, I'm aware that uh, most of the municipal councils are doing some exemplary work. And uh, we would request or we would encourage them to reach out to us with their projects. Uh, and uh, we will be happy to take it to the global scale. We will be happy to uh, note it down and uh, uh, make it reach more and more people, the excellent work that you're doing. Uh, in the end, uh, thank you, uh, Asim, uh, for, and Sivas for uh, the excellent support that you have provided these uh, municipal councils over the years. And uh, I'm, I'm sure that you will keep doing it uh, in future as well. And uh, uh, we'll keep working together uh, as it is. Uh, so again, over to you, Asim, uh, to uh, for the question and answer session. Yeah, well, yeah. Thanks, Prasanna. And uh, I think uh, one learning that CWAS and the cities have that at some point of time we will exit, and we have to recognize that fact. So that's the power of our collaboration. That they know that one day CWAS will go, but we have to sustain the activities from a larger public good perspective. They see the environmental and the public good benefits because of which they are continuing even without CWAS support. So uh, I, we are there, we are there with them to support, but we will be moving on as well as they will also be moving on. But we hope that the activities continue and stay institutionalized for the larger public goods that we want to attain. And, also attain our SDGs. So 
uh, once again uh, thank you very much uh, to all the presenters i think uh, there were some questions that were posted on chat and maybe i'll try to cover them there were a few questions that had come up so maybe starting with the first one i think what nasreen had asked uh, it's for sinner ceo uh, so uh, she has asked that uh, while city sinner council implemented the sanitation tax uh, were there any apprehensions or problems that they faced from the citizens and if yes how were they mitigated so uh, over to you ritesh uh, ji uh, yes we do face uh, some of the uh, opposes or uh, something we can say the apprehensions from the citizens uh, but we uh, uh we have uh, convinced them that uh, instead of uh, paying the uh, for the one uh, time that is when the uh, we call for the septic tank for the dislodge we have to pay 3000 4000 or 5000 at a one place so you can uh, pay as a 300 300 of amount uh, in a per year and that itself is in uh, our property tax uh, and yearly we can uh, say it's just a 9 uh, 900 rupees so in a 3 years it get uh, without a call without a, uh, any hesitate uh, i mean i mean to say to uh, wait for the septic tank to get uh, uh, stored or uh, it get uh, full uh, from the sludge uh, we have the service uh, for the periodically uh, disludging uh, the uh, uh, disludging from the uh, septic tank itself so we have convinced them instead of uh, we have to uh, for uh, instead uh, for for uh, in 3 uh, years we have to disclose our septic tank so instead of we uh, they have to call us and that is all, also uh, it is a vehicle is available or not on, uh, at that particular of time and uh, they have to pay any ways over 4000 or 5000 at one, one place yeah. so uh, we have convinced that uh, in the property tax itself uh, they have uh, no uh, as such apprehensions uh, to pay in the uh, property tax itself and uh, 300 it's i think it's a uh, very uh, low uh, amount of price uh, uh, at a one place uh, in a year so uh, uh, convinced in a uh, broadly so we have uh, imposed that tax and uh, now we have don't have any uh, their uh, opposition or say uh, their uh, they have uh, fully consent for this uh, Uh, type of model and uh, they are happy with that and i think uh, thank you uh, ritesh ji for a uh, extensive answer and just to add to what ritesh ji just said in the that and for other participants as well that uh, we need to recognize that uh, the when the desilting actually happens these tanks are very big so generally they end up doing two to three trips and each trip cost you 1000 so they actually end up paying two to 3000 for a desilting and that is also an emergency desilting because there is a distress that is there at the household that they can't use the toilets and against that they have to pay any yeah. amount the ulb is charging only 1000 but if a private operator comes up they charge for a distress fee which is very high so against that the city is providing a simple service which is like a free service a notionally free service where like your door to door waste the solid waste that gets collected daily instead of that the septage is collected once in every 3 years so uh, i think that's the uh, what is analogy to swm services that i would like to share in addition to what uh, ritesh ji just said um thank you uh, ritesh ji once again uh, uh, now moving on to the next question and that is for ashish ji that uh, what are the norms that your stps are attaining while you are demonstrating reuse and for example the cpcb norms are they attaining or the mpcb norms and with a specific mention of because hospital waste is also maybe coming to your uh, stp so how are you able to manage that you have a biomedical solid waste facility which is excellent but your waste water is a mix of everything uh, so what norms up kya norms attain karte ho aapke stp pe so that it can be reused but kaise monitor karte hain aap usko yaar for the stp uh, we attain the cpcb norms hamare stp mein uh, online system humne incorporate incorporate kiya hai jo seedhe cpcb ke sath uh, attached hai so if there is any uh, changes in process 
uh, we get alert if there is any um, changes in our treatment or any uh, problem in treatment or we cannot uh, uh, attend the uh, required criteria so the system uh, gives us alert so we can uh, alter the treatment process or make required changes in treatment process or dusra jo dusra question aapne kya pucha tha yahi si kya aap jab waste water waste water ke regarding kaun se norms attend karte hain वो सीपीसीबी के नॉर्म्स हम लोग टारगेट करते हैं और दूसरा जो हॉस्पिटल का जो वेस्ट वाटर रहता है जो सीवेज पूरा सीवेज वाटर जो है वो हमारे सीवर सिस्टम से कनेक्टेड है हॉस्पिटल का जो सीवेज है लेकिन जो हॉस्पिटल का वेस्ट जो रहता है वो अलग से कलेक्ट होता है उसके लिए कलेक्शन व्हीकल्स डिफरेंट है उसको सेपरेट रखा गया है उसको कलेक्शन कराड़ हॉस्पिटल एसोसिएशन के थ्रू होता है उनकी व्हीकल्स अलग है जो भी जो बायोलॉजिकल वेस्ट आता है बायोमेडिकल वेस्ट आता है वो उनके व्हीकल में अलग से आता है उनकी व्हीकल अलग से कलेक्ट करके वो प्लांट पे जाती है और वो डिफरेंटली uh, ट्रीट होता है वो हमारे सॉलिड वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट या फिर एस uh, पे ट्रीट नहीं होता है ठीक है या ओके ग्रेट एंड आई थिंक दूसरा जो आई थिंक जस्ट टू एड टू वॉट आशीष जी सेट के इन सिटी ये सिटी के अंदर उनका खुद का लेबोरेटरी भी सेटअप है एट द एस टी और जहाँ पे रेगुलरली वो लोग मॉनिटर करते क्योंकि एज अ कम्प्लायंस टू एम उनको आई थिंक डेली या मंथली वो दोनों को रिपोर्ट भी करना होता है एट द एस टी पी सो यस दूसरा एक रहता है कि असीम जी दूसरा एक प्रोसेस रहता है कि एम के जो ऑफिसियल्स है वो विजिट करते हैं एस पे जो कि हमें भी मालूम नहीं रहता कब विजिट करते हैं वो कभी भी हफ्ते में एक बार वीकली वंस इन अ वीक कभी भी वो लोग विजिट करते हैं सडनली सैंपल कलेक्ट करते हैं और उनके टेस्ट टेस्ट के लिए लैब टेस्ट के लिए वो लोग लेके जाते हैं तो हमारे यहाँ पे मंथ में टू टाइम्स इन अ मंथ थर्ड पार्टी टेस्ट रिपोर्ट भी रहते हैं इन हाउस हमारी लैब है वो डेली टेस्टिंग करती है वाटर का ट्रीटेड रिसाइकल वाटर का और जो एम के ऑफिशियल्स है वो वन सीन वीक सैंपल कलेक्ट करते हैं तो थ्री टाइम्स हम लोग टेस्टिंग होता है हमारे रिसाइकल्ड वाटर का ठीक है ग्रेट ओके थैंक यू आशीष जी यस जयन and prasanna yes. yeah uh, so actually uh, i have a question for all three of you uh, what was the functional modality of this collaboration as in uh, i would like to know some basics about who approached whom and how did it come to be because it is very difficult to see such beautiful collaborations happening and over a very long term and if someone wants to get into such collaborations it might be academia mm-hmm. or government how to approach the uh, the opposite party and how to get this collaboration started yeah okay great so maybe yeah. i can take a dig at that first so uh, i think what happened that when we started this work in maharashtra we have a long term relationship with the government of maharashtra since almost 2009 when we started the benchmarking project and during that period uh, when we started work in sinner we had met the miss malini the she was the secretary of mdws the and when she said that we want to develop some plans around uh, what you say city sanitation plans and that concept was very new at that time the nusp had just come up in 2008 and there were cities were still struggling for what csp so we started this work in 2012 in sinnar along with other three cities why and uh, ingoli and abbe jogai now what had happened that we built such a good relationship over that the city show, show, saw a value in our work that it was not only a typical consulting assignment but it was a research led detailed project report where based on their municipal finances we said that the city can only become with their own funds odf and implement fsm the scheduled de sludging part and not go for waste water because they didn't have that much of funds only available so what they could do from their own funds so this type of decision making we were able to help them and then this cities actually came back to us because once we exited from there our program 
our commitment for the state and the city was to help them prepare a realistic city sanitation plan these cities came back to us they wrote to us that if you can provide us support to implement this rather than just keeping it as a report in our shelf we would like to implement that and that's where we signed an mou where the city signed the mou with us it's a non financial mou that we did uh, we are supported cwos was supported is being supported by gates foundation hsbc so we supported this work under our grant to the cities and beyond that the way i think and it's a uh, my if my team can actually put the link of one of the documents where we call ourselves as enablers we don't do it things ourselves we see to it that we follow the city government systems so that it can be replicated we can do excellent work in one city but we can't scale it up if we don't follow that so for scaling it up we sort to it that we follow entire the government process not we any of them and making city the owner of the activity rather than see was so that's how we build our relationship and it has moved on since then and similarly we engage with karad through the state government of maharashtra uh, under the maji vasundhra mission so it has been a long journey but i think a very fruitful learning journey that we had over these years yeah thank you so much asim uh, yes, we would like you. to hear it from uh, yeah. either of the uh, speakers uh see you sir or please या जैसे कि आसिम सर ने बताया कि वी गॉट कनेक्टेड थ्रू माजी वसुंधरा वी एंड ग्रेट गवर्नमेंट वी हैड एन एमओयू विद सी वॉच फॉर थ्री इयर्स दिस इज नॉट फाइनेंशियल एमओयू सी वॉच प्रोवाइडिंग अस द टेक्निकल सपोर्ट एंड द गाइडेंस टू uh carbon sink activities and to reduce the co2 emissions uh and they also providing us the support how to uh, use the renewable energy how to run the renewable energy projects and uh, urban forestation great uh riteri हेलो हाँ बोल सेफ्ट यूनिवर्सिटी हेज एन कोलेबरेशन विद द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ महाराष्ट्र एंड गवर्नमेंट ऑफ महाराष्ट्र हेज चोजन एज एन सीनियर म्युनिसिपल काउंसिल फॉर द सी एस एफ पी प्लैन वी हैव इंटरक्टेड विद द सेफ्ट थ्रू दिस सी वॉस प्रोग्राम दे हैव डिजाइन अस फॉर द सी एस एफ पी प्लैन एंड दैट इज थ्रू that is when uh, we have uh, get in touch and uh, since then uh, they have uh, been in collaboration we had uh, uh, planned the uh, city sanitation action plan uh, we have identified the gaps in our uh, sanitation plan which uh, we have uh, uh, designed the uh, plan then designed uh, the tender document and the build, uh, building the project and uh, then after we have the uh, collaboration for the operation and maintenance also okay uh great uh okay great so i think uh, there are some questions that were posted and maybe i'll take that up quickly i, I know we are just a minute away from <laughs> the end of this session and i know ceo has to go for another meeting as well and both ashish ji also have to go so somebody has asked a question that the people living in sinnar uh, were they supportive of and as well as karad were they supportive of this activity so just to reflect i think uh, it not only the citizens that we have to deal with we have to also deal with the executive team the chief of the administrative wing as well as the political wing whenever a new activity starts there are always some apprehensions but the strength that an academia can bring is around the research of that activities and showing that the things that are being done are for the larger environmental or the public goods so we did face uh, what you say not challenges i would say but some hiccups i would say project hiccups i would say we while initiating the project but once people realized and once we were able to convey that properly through the iec and the bcc campaigns that the cities did we now are actually getting the demand from the citizen side that 
we hope that the scheduled services are still continuing we hope that the water will be still be supplied daily on a regular basis and all so that's the mindset that people have changed so now if they stop i think they would be questioned the cities would be questioned that why did they stop so we hope that this awareness that and the impact that these cities have been able to create will continue and people will keep on asking for this as a service um great so uh, i think uh, my job is done for the day <laughs> that's what uh, i feel right now and we are almost running out of time uh, prasanna ji or uh, uh, jay in case you want to say i'll be closing yeah just a quick request to everyone if you can switch on your camera we'll just take a group photo if that's okay with everyone okay. <laughs> whoever can switch on their camera please do it so that we can have a quick picture by the time everybody is doing that yes yeah all right okay thank you so much uh great and uh, so is if there are no more questions uh, i think we can close the webinar um uh, ask him any comments yes. or uh, can i just yeah yes yeah i'll just final words from my side maybe <laughs> yeah. no uh yeah i think uh, i wanted to thank uh, each and every one of you i think to the iwa team for organizing this webinar on a very different topic which is around academia and government relationships i think this is So I feel it's a missing discussion that's not happening in the sector right now. But thank you for bringing this up. I would like to thank both Rite and Ashish ji for joining the webinar. They are really short of time, but thank you for taking out time and sharing your work that the cities have done. So we are thankful for your support that you have given us as well till now, and we hope that our partnerships continue. and last but not the least but the very important the participants on the call who have still stayed back i was told 150 have registered and almost 25 had joined so i was like this is the best turnout i have generally seen a turnout of half but we had a better turnout at least and we still have around 80 90 people still online so thank you to all the participants we i we hope that this webinar was useful and some insights we were able to share that you can scale or replicate in your work that you are doing once again thank you very much uh, all of you on behalf of cwas the city governments and the iwa team uh, thank you namaste so i think a uh, vote of thanks has been already given by uh, asim so uh, in the end i would just like to encourage uh, everyone that uh, please reach out to us uh, be in touch uh, please letting please let us know if you are doing any innovative project if you are doing such excellent work and uh, we would love to take it to a global scale and uh, i have already posted uh, two programs in the chat box that is inclusive urban sanitation and climate smart utilities and uh, uh, india office we are based in chennai uh, we will be always happy to help every one of you uh, to apply and uh, to reach to the global scale as well uh, so thank you so much uh, thank you so much for attending the webinar uh, thank you asim uh, thank you ashish ji thank you ritesh ji for uh, taking the time out and uh, thank you so much